What's up, family? All I know he needs to hear this message tonight. But the Lord wants you to lean on his strength. Lean on his understanding. Lean on his love. Lean on his patience to get you through this season of enduring. The Lord says he's coming soon. You've been exiled for a long time. You've been counted out, talked about, looked down upon because of the sins that you committed. And the Lord says, your punishment is over. Your punishment is over and your time of prosperity is near. He had to punish you because of your sins. He had to teach you what was right and what was wrong. So now your time is over. Your punishment is over and your time is near. The Lord wants you to lean on his strength because on our own strength, we get tired. I didn't even feel like making a video. I just got out the shower. I was getting ready to go to sleep, but all day I've been thinking like, man, how long is it going to take? Or the Lord keeps telling me this, he keeps telling me that, and I trust in the Lord. But you can trust in a driver and still have questions on the road you're taking. You can know the destination, but still have questions on where you're going. And the Lord just says, let me take the wheel. Let me let you, let me take us where we're going. Because where we're going, you won't expect. Where we're going, you will prosper. And Sometimes when we lean on our own strength, we get tired. When we lean on our own understanding, we die out and be dreaded. We're, we're mere, merely humans. We cannot have this un, undesirable strength to not get tired. We get tired. We don't want to do the will of God all the time, but when we choose God, he gives us the strength. He gives us more strength to keep enduring. So the Lord is saying today, lean on my strength. Because on your own strength, you're going to fall. On your own strength, you can't do it. On your own strength, you're going to get nervous. On your own strength, you're going to get scared. On your own strength, you're going to get tired. But on my strength, on my strength, I give you the power to soar over your enemies, to trample over snakes and scorpions and overpower all the enemy, all the power of the enemy. So the Lord wants you to lean on his strength. Lean on his strength. Lean on his strength. Because when you lean on his strength, in his, in his word, he says, that you can overcome all the powers of the enemy. And he has defeated the enemy. Greater is the one in you than who is in the world. Greater is the person that's in you than the enemy that's in the world. And I wanted to come share that message because I wasn't gonna be obedient at first. I wasn't going to come out here because I, I made a video earlier and honestly I'm really tired I just got off and I'm getting sick if y'all can't tell like I, I, I'm congested I just want to go to sleep but I stood there I was like the Lord has been too good to me and even though I'm tired I want to lean on his strength to come upload this video. To come outside and make this video. To get bit up by these mosquitoes. 
once again. But it's all for the love of Jesus Christ. So, I just want to thank the Lord in this moment. Thank the Lord for everything he has done for you and everything he's doing for you. Because the Lord is about to bring you into a season where you cannot explain, you cannot expect, you cannot even imagine the glory that's upon you right now. The glory that God is about to reveal to you. The things that God is about to do to you as you follow in his presence. The blessings, the financial blessings, the spiritual breakthroughs, the families, the friends, the relationships, the spouse, the cars, the house. The Lord is about to bless you abundantly because you accepted his correction and you humbled yourself and you got up and you laid not on your own understanding. You knew that what you were doing was wrong and you accepted the truth and did what was right. So yes, the Lord was angry with you, but the Lord says the hand of his wrath will be the same hand that blesses you. The same people who counted you out will be the same people who promote you. The same people who talked about you will be the same people who feel bad about what they said because they didn't know. So you have to forgive. Be ready to forgive in this new season. Be ready for new love in this new season. Be ready for new financial breakthroughs, spiritual breakthroughs. Be ready to teach in this new season. Be ready to learn in this new season. And the Lord says, you can do it all in my strength. Don't try to do it on your own. I pray this message bless somebody. In Jesus' name, I love you. Jesus loves you. I catch y'all in the next video.